Okay, so talk to us about Open Office. Is Open Office is that free software? Open Office is free software. It's a collection. It's an office suite, and it's designed to be an alternative to Microsoft Office. And yes, it's free software. One of the things that I like about um, Open Office is that it helps lead people to freedom. That there's a baby stepping that happens. I know a lot of people who would like to get away from Microsoft, and they they can't. Can you give me examples of other programs that are similar to Open Office leading people toward freedom? One program is the GIMP, which is pretty pretty much equivalent in its capabilities to Photoshop, and another free. Re Free alternative to common non-free software is Mozilla, which is a free alternative to Internet Explorer. So those are a couple of free programs you could try out, and they do run on Windows. So you, you could try them as a first step. I think it's perfectly legitimate and useful to recommend ways people can take steps toward free software, but we have to be careful against the mistaken idea that once a person is using some free software that that person is a success, that everything's fine there now. The goal, if we want to achieve freedom, can't be using some free software. That's just taking some steps towards freedom. You've achieved freedom when you have removed the last non-free program from your machine. Do you think that the whole world ever will be completely free? I can't predict the future. I don't know whether someday proprietary software will be a thing of the past. I don't know whether free software will survive. We could liberate cyberspace we could try and fail. Anytime you're fighting for freedom against some opposition, the issue is always in doubt. And freedom, even once you've won freedom, it doesn't maintain itself automatically. In order to stay free, you have to pay attention to freedom. You can establish a government based on principles of freedom, and it can be taken away in just a few years. You know, these past three years, we've seen a lot of freedom taken away in the United States. We've seen, we had a democratic government. We've seen that democracy is a matter of form, not substance in the U.S. today. So what do we do? We have to keep fighting. And whether we'll win, I don't know. Whether we will someday again have basic human rights in the U.S., I don't know.